Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward, and you know this guy, Jake, and uh, this is your weekly update. Jake, we are inside today. Do okay. you know why we're inside today? Um, because you're going to do a devotion on the Holy of Holies? No, we are inside because it's hotter than you know what outside. It's going to be 99 degrees on the first day of fall. So we're inside the temple today. We're just inside. Uh, this is, yeah... Um, we're inside. And my dog, my dog won't quit barking. Yeah. And so it kind of messes up everything. Go ahead and grab that drink, man. Don't be scared. No. Get, get your scared. energy drink. It's okay. Don't be embarrassed. You don't have to give up your man card. There you go. There you go. Hey, we got a couple things coming up. October 2nd, baby dedication. If you have not connected with Kristen yet, make sure you connect with Kristen. Uh, I think you're actually going to lead that for the first time I am. in 18 years. Yeah, I'm a newbie. Uh, this is your first baby dedication yeah. service. Excited and so, about that. Uh, Jake will be leading that service, and if you have uh, a baby that you want to dedicate, get in touch with Kristen. Uh, she'll get all that lined out, and that'll be on October the 2nd. We need to know week before that. Sunday. Yeah, we need to know by next week so yeah. we can get everything put together and that don't show up on october 2nd uh, like, hey, baby. You know. well you can we just won't have anything prepared right. for you right. uh, right. that we have prepared so also coming up uh, next wednesday our children's uh, program is uh, hot and heavy it's cool last night i was up there walking through 40 the, something kids the little ones there last walk in the last night third through fifth grade uh next we'll wednesday so make sure if you got a third to fifth grader, get them there, invite friends. Uh, we also have a small group for adults. If you want to drop your kids off and join that small group, our preschool pastor, uh, Kristen, yep. uh, is leading that small group there at the church, Kildale. Uh, they can be a part of that. Uh, it's going to be good. Uh, also, golf. Need fun golf racing. teams. How's that going? Need golf teams. Mm -hmm. We still need some teams. Four-person scramble. Get your team signed up. All the money will send kids to preteen camp. Yep. Uh, it's going to be a fun tournament. We're going to eat breakfast together and then lunch afterwards. Have raffles afterwards so you can win some cool prizes. Still hadn't heard from Phil Mickelson yet. I, you I reached out to his um, agent again. You won't. Uh, so I'm really hoping you won't. I can get him on my team. You won't. And it's going it's to be Hey, great. how about that fall fest? Man, it's coming on. I was thinking about that yesterday, driving home, yeah. and just, man, it's right around the corner. Yeah. And it's going to be here. We're almost through September, and October is going to be here. October the 30th is our Fall Fest. We'll have a couple thousand people on our campus that night. Uh, Darren Morse Band's going to be oh, there. Oh, Darren's coming. Uh, it's it's going to be a cool deal. We also um, got our fans fixed for outside, Yeah. Uh, so it doesn't swing and all that good stuff. Oh, uh, were they getting out of hand? Uh, they were getting out of hand. Well, so, you know that. Fans get out of hand. They they drink before the games and they yell that's at the referees and, and hey, that's the wrong kind cuss of fans. out the coaches. Wrong kind of fans. Wrong kind of fans. Um, talking about fans that blow air. So I, I guess would still need to get those other types of fans fixed. So anyway, that's hey, set a good example. Uh, those donations you can grab from Ashley. She has a list, and you can see that uh, we always need candy and books. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it really is people good. run booths people run booths uh, we got food it, it's it's gonna be good we got other churches that are involved in this one of my favorite events that we do yeah uh, it's a lot of work but it's a great outreach to our community it's a safe place where people can just come in and you know, a lot of people think if they come to church the so roof's gonna fall in on them and yeah. uh, you know it's it's they just, may be scared of the fans could be, could be. Uh, I shouldn't have never said that, but anyway. Also, got baptisms this Sunday. Did you we already say that? Nope. No, nope. we do have some baptisms. We do this have Sunday. some baptisms again. In fact, how I, about that baptism last Sunday? That was, a, that was cool. That was baptism so last cool. Um, I was thinking about this. I posted on Instagram. You may have saw it on my Instagram page. I, I said 17 baptisms in the last six weeks. It's actually four weeks. Yeah, I don't know that anybody actually follows you on Instagram. They don't. They don't. I was just thinking about that this morning, though, that we're, we're coming up on almost 20 baptisms in four mm -hmm. weeks. Yeah. Uh, man, that's just that is so good. It's exciting. If you've never been baptized or you have won somebody to Jesus or you know somebody that, that has talked about that, get us in touch. Yeah. Talk to your small group leader. Uh, we would love, love, love uh, just to see this happen Every week from, oh, from that, this, yeah, this point cool. on. Just people getting saved. People I like it because it, it shortens your sermons. If we got a bunch of baptisms, then you don't preach as long. I mean that and, you know, people are getting saved. 
9 o'clock on Sunday, we have prayer time. I want to invite you to be a part of that. If you want to come and pray over our service, pray for uh, the music, the people that are there, those uh, hearts that are broken uh, on Sunday morning, that God would do healing, that he would do restoration, that he would um, uh, call people to repentance, that life change would take place, that relationships would be healed. Uh, that, those are the things we pray for during that time. We don't take prayer requests. Uh, we actually just, at 9 o'clock, we start praying, and we're just asking God to do something big at Summit Hots, and, and I'm believing that God's going to do something big That's right. um, at Summit, and so your faithfulness, your giving, your prayers, they all matter uh, as we see people's lives change, and, and it's it's good. Well, it stinks that you're not taking prayer requests, because I had a prayer request. Yeah, well, I pray for you every day anyway, but <laughs> probably not like you think. I'm leaving this morning to go suffer in San Antonio, Texas, one of my favorite cities get to spend four days on the river walk while Ashley goes to a conference, guess what I get to do? Lay in the hotel. I just get to just chill out, watch TV, walk around the river walk, eat some real carne gasada. Carne gasada tacos really, I, 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 in I'll San be, Antonio. I'll be honest with you. I'm really excited for you. I, I think it's going to be a good weekend, and uh, yeah. maybe you'll get some rest. Maybe you'll get saved. Um, well... You eat real carne gasada tacos in San Antonio, it's, yeah, that's like getting saved. There, now, this is going to sound really strange, but uh, there, there's an Italian food place on the Riverwalk yeah, in not, San Antonio. I'm not eating Italian food and I don't, in I don't like Italian food. I, I really don't like Italian food. But I'm just telling you, this place, no. it, it's the real deal, man. Okay. It's the real deal. You don't go to San Antonio to eat Italian food. You I, go to San Antonio I, I get that. I get to that. eat I, real yeah, but Party I get, gasada. I get Not that. Not asada, gasada. I, I get that, but I'm just telling you, for somebody that doesn't like Italian food, yeah, it's the real deal. Well, it, it really is. You, 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 you really just need to go by and have the Alfredo. Yeah, too um, much, too much uh, carbs. Gosh, carbs. But it's a worth the sacrifice. How many people have stuck through this? I don't know. Said, you know, know what? If they would, if they have, they've learned that there's a great Italian food place. They've yeah. learned there's great carne asada. Gasada. Gasada. So uh, I don't know. Yeah. Hey, we love you, Summit. Cannot wait to see you share this on all your platforms. Uh, Ten o'clock Sunday morning. Bring somebody with you. Uh, bring somebody with you that doesn't know Christ. Uh, and maybe they'll be saved Sunday. I don't know. I, I'm just expecting God to do big. So we love you. Have a great weekend. I do hope you have a good weekend, man. Y'all be safe. And uh, we look forward to